My name is Panos. I'm a co-founder of NetBiz. You can reach me uh, there. And today I'll be talking about uh, how to turn your Odroids that you already have, or Raspberry Pi that half of you have, at least one, into remote Wi-Fi monitoring sensors. So this builds on top of the maker session we had two days ago. So in that session, we learned how to use our single board computers, the Odroid in that case, and use it as a Wi-Fi um, testing endpoint, right? So we had our laptop, we uh, had the Android on the other side, and over the wireless, we ran an hyper test, and we got some bandwidth metrics there. And this is great. Uh, the limitation there is that you need to have console access, run the command on your CLI, get the results on the command. If you want to run multiple times, you have to do it multiple times, maybe run a script. Uh, put the results in a spreadsheet and build a plot if you want to do it multiple times under different parameters or different times of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to do this, um, how to do this uh, without touching the device, controlled over the cloud, the ability to schedule the test periodically, and create baselining and keep historical. So this is the idea, right? You can have actually not only one device, but multiple, as many as you want. Um, deployed at remote offices at your parents' house. When they complain about the internet, you can, you know, log in. <laughs> you can log in and see what's going on. Um, and run tests end to end, right? So to measure uh, different metrics. So I get it here, and then when I'm here, okay, I'll continue like this. It's fine, right? Um, okay, so you can find instructions online. When you go home at your own time and pace, you can do that. One thing you can do right now, actually, is just sign up for the, you know, for the, for, for the GUI. Go to the website on the upper right corner, um, click there, put your name, choose your domain, whatever you like, John Doe, WLPC, dash John here, and create your dashboard. Okay, so that's something you can do in 30 seconds, and when you go home, uh, you'll be able to just, you know, like follow up with the rest of the steps. So when you do that, you'll get this. You'll get a dashboard which is kind of boring and empty. And to make it more interesting, of course, uh, we need to connect our devices, right? So um, again, you can connect your Android, Raspberry Pis, basically any x86 Debian-based machine. You can uh, install our Debian package and uh, connect to your dashboard. And how do you do that? That's uh, step three. In the email you receive, you'll have two commands to to, to execute your SSH to your uh, device, you know how to do that right now. You did it two days ago. Copy and paste them, you get a unique key, and that will connect your device to your own dashboard, right? So you know where to find it. You won't lose it. And of course, the idea here is to um, connect it to your, to your dashboard and have the ability to control it from there, right? There it is now. You have a wireless sensor deployed somewhere, and um, you can do a bunch of things over, over the GUI now. Um, and of course, the idea is to have you know as many as you want, cover your offices from the wireless and the wireless side, um, and be able to have these remote sensors giving you visibility from all your remote offices, right? So this device is not a client in your network, pretty much. And let's see what we can do uh, with it right now. So let me try now to switch to this. So I'm going to start with this. Okay. So this is what we did two days ago on the command line. Oh, come on. So, okay. So now I have here two of these uh, endpoints, right, on my dashboard, one wired and one wireless. So the beauty here is that you can have both views of your network here, right, on the wired side and the wireless side. If something goes wrong on the wired side or the wireless side or both, you can see it from here. And this is another client in your network that runs pretty much uh, active tests right now. So I'm going to look at the wireless side right now. And I can see that how I am running all these um, periodic tests, Google, Salesforce, um, our website, a bunch of DNS servers. I have historically real-time results. I can go back in time and uh, to weeks, months, or years even, depending on what's my retention policy. And on the wireless side, I can also get information such as RxDx 
uh, on the wireless interface, link quality, signal strength. You can see that, yes, okay. Bitrate and channel BSID and a bunch of other information. You can dig into when you have your device connected and of course have historical about it as well. Now I want to show you a little bit uh, more in terms of how this connects to the maker session we did two days ago. I'm gonna go to the iPerf test that we did that we did uh, over the command line, right? I'm gonna show you here how we're doing the same test uh, on, the GUI, on the GUI. So I'm gonna choose now my two agents. I'm gonna go from the Pittsburgh Wi-Fi agent to my uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Wired agent. And this is the same test we did, uh, what is it, here. Right, TCP, run the test. So if you remember, we typed the iperf command on our, on our laptop, it went over the wireless of the MicroTik and hit the server running on the Android. And we got the results uh, on our laptop, right? Here, you can see the results here. You can run them between any device that you have on, the, on your dashboard. And the extension to this also is that you can run these tests continuously, right? So here, I have iperf test running on a schedule. So this is the same test running every hour on the 12th and 42nd minute. This is a TCP iperf, so it has also uh, jitter and packet loss, 10 megabps uh, UDP iperf. And obviously, you can keep historical, create baselines, and you don't have any more to you know, like do it manually, deploy the device, and forget about it. The same can be done for speed test. Speed test, you know, it's a... Uh, Often it's been not being used properly, right? We get in trouble when uh, users call us and tell us, you know, speed test is slow and where I'm seeing, seeing this. Uh, but nonetheless, it's good to have the information. Again, you can run it uh, on scheduled, uh, you know, based on, on uh, what you want to do, maybe a few times during uh, office hours, 9 a.m., 2, 2 p.m., and then a couple of times during off hours, just to have, you know, both views on your, um, dashboard here. And finally, the last test I want to cover here is the VoIP, which the idea here is that you send VoIP traffic from one endpoint to another, you simulate a call, and you measure jitter packet loss latency and you derive a MOS score. Um, and then for this one again, you know, you can see if you have a voice degradation problem, if it's coming from, you know, uh, degradation in jitter latency uh, or packet loss. Um, I wasted quite, quite some time here. Uh, I don't want to dig into f further into anything else. Um, if you have any questions, reach out. Uh, you'll have your own dashboard, sign up. Uh, and uh, yeah, you want to chat, let me know. Thank you. Thank you. That was great.